Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to get your game into its own little executable outside of the editor environment. So if you've finished your game and you've set up all the packaging settings, if you don't know how to do that, I advise that you go ahead and check out my video, the last one, uh, where I go over all of that stuff. Once you've done all of that, you're going to want to, uh, you know, actually get it out into a little installer or a little executable that can be run and then you can just share that little folder with your friends, um, you know, ship it onto different platforms, whatever you're going to do. Now, like I said in the previous video, if you're going to be shipping to platforms like the PS4, Xbox One and stuff like that, you're going to have to have like all the developer licensing and stuff and uh, dev kits and such. But for now, I'm just going to show you how you can actually get it onto the Windows platform uh, using some of the stuff that we did in the last episode. So I'm going to leave all my project settings. Uh, it should be right. Um, just make sure you double check everything before you do go and package it out. The packaging process does actually take a bit of time, so you don't want to be reiterating, you know, just because of a simple little mistake, just double check it, um, play test it, do whatever you've got to do. Anyway, so now that that's done, all you got to do is just go down and, and to go to File, Package Product, and then all you got to do is just choose the platform that you want to package it for. If you wanted to, you could package it for Android, uh, Apple TV, HTML5, iOS, Linux and stuff. Um, obviously there is going to be some of those prerequisites and stuff like that, but for now I'm just going to show you how to get it onto Windows. So to do that, just go to Package Product, and then go down to Windows, and from here we can choose Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit. Now most modern computers do actually have like a 64-bit operating system. Um, some of them might not like older computers or you know all the all-in-one PCs and you know tablets that run Windows 10 and stuff like that. So if you want you know your project to be able to be run by anyone I'd just go ahead and you know run for 32-bit. Uh, if not you know, if you're just working for someone like yourself or you know that everyone's going to have a 64-bit operating system, just go ahead and press 64-bit. Once you click it, it's going to ask you if you want to save everything. Just go ahead and press yes. Now we actually need to browse for a folder where we want to put all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder not inside of there. I'm just going to go to my desktop, create a new folder, then I'm going to name this um, whatever I want to for my game. So I'm just going to rename this to uh, package test project then I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm just gonna press OK now from here it's actually gonna package everything uh, pretty much by itself you don't need to click anything um, it's all it's gonna cook all your content it's gonna rebuild it and everything like that um, you can look at the log to see exactly what's happening uh, while you're you know built while it's building your product uh, project for you um, but for the most part, you're not really going to want to look inside of here unless there's actually any problems with your project. Now, this can take between about 5 and 10 minutes, maybe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly cut the video and, uh, you know, get back to you when it's all done. Also, in the meantime, what I want you to do is go ahead and smash that like button. You know, just go ahead and comment if you have any questions. And uh, I also wanted to mention that just because we've got to the packaging stage of, um, you know, Unreal Engine, for it doesn't necessarily mean that the product uh, series is finished. There's always loads of new features coming out that I want to cover. Um, so you know, I will be going over those. So things like sequencer and such. Um, some of those aren't fully available um, at the moment, but the ones that are new, I will be adding them to the series. Um, so that is something that you might want to keep in mind. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here, and we will continue in a moment. Okay, so it looks like it's all completed now and we are ready to go ahead and check it out. So if you just go ahead and navigate to the folder where you chose it to, uh, decided it would all go to earlier on in the video, uh, we can see exactly what's inside of here. So if I open up my package test product, you can see I've got a folder that says Windows No Editor. That's just just a quick reminder that it's going to be no editor, you can't open up the engine, it's just going to be the executable for the game. So if I wanted to, I could uh, close the editor, because we don't need that anymore, and I can proceed to open up the application for the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, and you'll see that it should load pretty quickly actually, because we don't have the editor and all of that stuff. So just give it a second to load, 
it may ask for permission, but you can see now that it's gone to the, de uh, the default, which is actually the main menu level. Um, and then from here I can, you know, play around with the main menu, go to the levels that I need to go to, and uh, even quit the game and all that good stuff. Anyway, hopefully now you should be at a point where you can actually get your game into its own little executable. Um, and you know you can start to ship your stuff um, if you guys are working on any games feel free to let us know in the comments we'd love to see exactly what you're doing don't be afraid to share it anyway thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video goodbye